today's videos we will briefly talk about a type of hernias called incisional hernias. These occur at sites of previous abdominal operations and there are specific factors associated with these i.e. risk factors which predispose patients to having these types of hernias. So let's, let's just uh, have a brief look at this figure over here. Uh, let's assume that over here this is the rib cage, this is the groin crease, this is the belly button, this is the right side and this is the left side. In this specific example I've drawn an incision in the midline and then there is a defect which has appeared over time. This is the sac of the hernia, this is the hernial sac and this is the abdominal content. Let's assume the loop of bowel which is just about coming into the incisional hernia and this has appeared over time. In terms of the definition of the hernia, it's no different to the other hernias that I've described previously. The incisional hernia is a type of a ventral hernia, that is another name for all abdominal hernias. So let's, just, let's look at the risk factors as to why it appears in certain people. So here's a, a, a number of factors. Uh, emergency surgery, uh, patients who have infection in their wounds after their operation, patients who are overweight or who are in the elderly population group, um, those who've had chemotherapy or undergoing chemotherapy would not heal their wounds quite well, um, pregnant women, uh, people who smoke and diabetics. The symptoms associated with this hernia uh, again are similar to other hernias so it starts off with a lump uh, so in this example the first thing that would appear the person would feel is that the hernia incision has become lax and in the fullness of time a, a soft lump appears uh, this may progress to pain and the pain has various grades it's particularly worse when the patient is has increased abdominal pressure such as when they are straining or whether it's caused by constipation, sometimes in men, in older men, difficulty in passing urine. All of these factors would increase the pain associated uh, with the hernia. The hernias, of course, can become trapped, uh, but not strangulated, in which case they just sort of sit there and uh, don't drop back inside the abdomen as shown in this, in this uh, picture. Uh, they're called incarcerated. And of course, there's always a risk of strangulation uh, just like with any hernia, uh, strangulation implies that the blood supply of the contents of the hernia has now been compromised. So, so again, looking at this example, let's assume this is a loop of bowel. So the blood supply going in, and this is the neck of the hernia, and if that traps the bowel and then stops the blood supply going in, then that is a dire emergency, in which case the patient ought to go to the nearest hospital as soon as possible. That is manifested by significant pain and other abdominal uh, symptoms and signs such as uh, vomiting and a more generalized pain and generally unwellness. Uh, so if these symptoms arise uh, then you ought to go to the nearest hospital as soon as possible or take the patient there. Incisional hernias are treated uh, by way of an operation it requires surgery you can palliate the symptoms by wearing a belt of some description that puts pressure on the hernia, but that's not a permanent solution. In general, uh, the in incisional hernias uh, are best treated under a specialist center uh, and the type of anesthetic is general anesthesia. Uh, the operation uh, may be an open approach. Uh, an open approach means making a cut directly where the hernia is in this instance over here and then dissecting the sac inspecting the contents of the sac making sure that they are alive and then reducing everything back inside so that you are left with uh, uh, with fresh edges all the way around so once all of the sac is reduced back inside uh, we are left with a defect uh, as mapped out over here and increasingly now um, evidence has shown that by placing a mesh which is artificial material underneath 
the actual wound but away from the bowel in a different layer and separated uh, through a technique called sublay uh, that this produces better results uh, so you you make space for the mesh and then you put in sutures and repair the hernia with suture and then make sure that the mesh is tethered beneath the wound itself um, and this completes the repair and you close the skin. The recovery time is variable um, but uh, the stay in the hospital can be um, between one and three days. The other approach of course is keyhole or laparoscopic. Uh, the laparoscopic approach is cannot be deployed if there are too many adhesions with the, within the abdomen and I'll tell you why. In the keyhole operation, let's say that this is the hernia, uh, the entry is made from the side of the abdomen through an initial incision, a camera is inserted, the tummy is filled with gas and it requires space to be created with, within the abdomen. If there are too many adhesions, you just do not have the space to be able to operate. Once the camera is inserted, uh, further ports are put in place through which instruments are inserted to reduce the hernia, identify the outline of the hernia and then to repair that with suture to bring it together and just as in the previous example a mesh is inserted of which there are a, a wide variety uh, and that's how the operation is completed. Uh, the obvious question is well which one is better and the answer is that there is no right or wrong answer over here. Uh, it would depend upon the type of hernia and the preference of your surgeon, uh, provided that you have an experienced surgeon who understands uh, the ins and outs of each hernia type, then you're likely to get good outcomes uh, with either of these. So what about Some patients will have large complex hernias. So these are hernias uh, due to their size or the patient's poor health are not easy to repair. They are best approached by specialist teams uh, and surgeons with a specialist interest in the repair of complex hernias because quite a few of these will require what these days is called reconstruction of the abdominal wall. Uh, so there are specialist techniques that need to be deployed to get the best results. So that was a brief overview of the, the condition uh, that is associated with incisional hernia, its diagnosis and treatment. I hope you found that useful. Thank you.